hey guys welcome back to another edition on immigrate with ami today's video is about a province in canada that a lot of people don't talk about this community is desperately in dire need of immigrants because of the pressing labor shortage in this region the government had created a community program that has been in existence but the good news is that this program has been extended until 2025 probably because they didn't find enough skilled workers or enough immigrants and if you're interested in moving to this province right there are job opportunities without the need for lmia the best part of it is that you can migrate from your home country to this canadian province with a part-time job and you are also allowed to work for up to three employers at the same time so if you're interested in moving to this province right you would have access to a free accommodation for you and your family there would also be an airport pickup when you arrive in canada and there's a settlement plan for you and your family if you're interested in moving to this province but then there's a step-by-step -step process you would have to follow my husband is here as well he'll be walking you through the entire process i would encourage you to watch this video in full if you're interested in giving it a try please support this channel by giving it a massive thumbs up it's a beautiful way of supporting my channel you can also share my videos with your friends and your loved ones don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos and keep watching hello guys you welcome to immigrate with ami today we want to talk about an exciting opportunity in canada in one of the provinces it's a program that is being run by the provincial government however it is actually focused on communities so this is a program that is directly benefiting communities and it's a program that is quite flexible and different from every other type of community-based or provincial nomination programs that we have spoken about in the past okay so guys we are talking about the province of yukon which is a part of canada's northwestern territories if you are a lover of nature you're a lover of wildlife you would actually find this part of canada a very great place to actually live and settle okay but much more than that the government is doing something out of the box to attract workers to actually benefit that province economically okay so in this video i'm going to be telling you about the program that the government has put in place to make it easier for people to immigrate and settle down long term in the province of yukon and i'm going to be sharing with you some of the benefits that you stand to gain if you actually apply for this program just to give you like a tip of the iceberg if you are successful in this application okay it will be the employer that will actually have to arrange housing plan for you aside that it's the employer that will also arrange for accommodation pickup from the airport and then in addition to that the employer must find a host in that community that would support you until you are fully settled with your family and then if you have kids right who needs to be enrolled in the school they will also ensure that they provide all of the support that you need to ensure that your kids are enrolled in the school now for all of this support that you are getting from the employer the employer will not charge you a dime for all of that so these are like benefits that comes with applying and being accepted for this particular program okay so just to give you you know some tips about that now let's talk about this particular program that we are talking about the name of the program is the yukon community program okay and i'm going to be giving you some background information of this particular community program as you know canada's provinces have their own provincial nomination programs okay and in most of these provinces one of the requirements to actually get this nomination most of the time is a job offer 
all right and then that job cannot be a seasonal job that job must be a full-time job these conditions actually make it very difficult for certain groups of employers to participate in this provincial nomination program but there are small businesses or medium-sized businesses especially in places like Yukon where the population is not so huge where most of the businesses are actually small or medium-sized these businesses find it difficult to be able to qualify to participate in this normal provincial nomination program because some of the employers are actually unable to hire foreign workers on a full-time basis okay so based on all of these obstacles the government has brought about this Yukon community program to support such employers who are unable to hire a full-time resource or a full-time worker what the government has put in place is that under the Yukon community program it is possible for an employer to actually hire you part-time okay and then uh, they can team up with up to two more employers what that means is that you can actually work okay for three employers at once as long as those three offers sum up to a full-time job offer so this employer is hire hiring you part-time the second one is hiring you part-time the third one is hiring you part-time the sum of all of these three part-time sums up to a full-time offer so the government is putting in place this measure to ensure that these small businesses can also participate in these provincial programs and then can also find eligible foreign workers to work for them on a part-time basis okay so under the yukon community program you can work for up to three employers as long as the sum of all of the offers from those three employers adds up to a full-time job offer the next thing is that as you know based on the weather of canada and based on the nature of so many jobs in canada a lot of jobs are actually seasonal meaning that you won't be able to find a job throughout the year under this Yukon community program, okay, the employers will give an assurance that there will always be a job for you throughout the year. And throughout the year, you are going to be earning income. So which actually gives you that flexibility. It gives you that assurance to be able to actually have more or less a long-term settlement plan in that particular community and in the province of Yukon. So these are the programs that the government has put in place to attract foreign workers into the province of Yukon. At the moment, there are a list of communities or a list of towns in Yukon including the capital city which is called Whitehorse okay which are participating in this Yukon community program and you can find jobs with employers in those communities now one exciting thing about this Yukon community program is that aside giving you a job offer which qualifies you to get an immediate work permit and then move to Canada. This is also linked to permanent residency application, which means that even if you go to Canada as a temporary worker, in no time, you will be able to actually convert this to a permanent resident status okay and i'm going to be showing you the application process i'll be showing you the details of this yukon community program and how you can benefit from it i will also share with you a platform where you can easily find jobs in yukon now mind you you don't need to actually keep looking for only full-time jobs even if it's part-time job you can apply for a part-time job and then employers can actually combine part-time offers to give you one single full-time offer which qualifies you for the work permit that enables you to come in immediately with your dependent and then settle long term in the province of Yukon. So I've mentioned previously that the employers in this case must actually have a retention plan for you and they must be able to provide support for you as a foreign worker who is coming to work for them okay and part of their retention plan 
which they would need to also show the government is that they must introduce you to people, to organizations, and to events in the community which can help you to integrate better. Basically, how can an employer nominate you? So this is not a program that you can go directly to the province to apply for a nomination. It has to be an employer or a group of employers nominating you based on the fact that they are giving you a job offer. All that the employer needs to do is to provide a proof that he or she has advertised that job publicly. And also, the employer needs to show that no Canadian citizen or permanent resident is available for that particular position, meaning that they are unable to fill that job within Canada. That is why they are hiring you as a foreign worker. So basically, this is more or less like the skeleton or the framework upon which this particular program runs. Okay. Now, the question is, what is the implication for you as an applicant? So the implication for you is this, Yukon has a permanent residency programs. Okay. And one of the things that can trigger a nomination from Yukon for permanent residency is if you get a job offer. Under this Yukon community program, the job offer that you get, even though it's a combination of part-time jobs, you can actually use it to get a nomination for permanent residency from the province of Yukon. Now, once you get this nomination certificate from the province, based on these job offers from these employers in Yukon, it takes a while for the permanent residency application to be completed okay so usually it takes months instead of waiting for the entire process of permanent residency application to be fulfilled with that job offer and with that nomination certificate with you you can apply immediately for an expedited work permit okay which enables you to immediately move to yukon to start work as a foreign worker while your permanent residency application is in process and then in no time once your permanent residency application has been finally approved you can already change your status from a foreign worker to a permanent residence while already there in yukon so this is the benefit that this yukon community program gives to you as an applicant okay so you get a job offer you move to Yukon based on that job offer. Most of the burden of relocation and support is actually borne by the employer, not you. And then while there as a foreign worker, you are guaranteed of continuous support from the employers. You are guaranteed that there will always be job for you throughout the year, meaning that you will always have income throughout the year and to be able to support yourself and your family. And then while still enjoying the benefit of that job, your permanent residency application is in process as well. Okay, so these are the added benefit that this program provides and you can partake in this program to enjoy the benefits that are in this program. Let's imagine that you were able to get a job offer and I'm going to show you the platform where you will apply for the job offer. So after you get a job offer, what next? How do you get the work permit? How do you expedite your permanent residency application as well? Once you get a job offer, all right, that job offer immediately triggers a provincial nomination certificate for you right from your express entry profile. Okay, so as the owner of a profile in the express entry pool, you immediately get a provincial nomination from Yukon and then that provincial nomination gives you 600 additional points, which more or less qualifies you for an invitation to apply from Canada's federal government. Now, aside that, that nomination certificate at the same time and the job offer that you already have allows you to apply for an expedited work permit to immediately move to the province of Yukon while your permanent residency is still in process, okay? Now, as an applicant, how can you apply for that expedited work permit? All you need is a copy of the nomination letter which you have gotten from the government of Yukon confirming that you have been nominated for permanent residence because you already have a job offer. The second document is a signed letter of support from the government of Yukon stating that the employers 
who are offering you the job need you to work in the community as soon as possible. That the job offers are genuine, it will also show the details of the job offers including the names of the different employers that are employing you on a part-time basis, the occupation, the number of hours you'll be working and the location of the job. Okay, so these two document, the nomination letter and the signed letter of support from the government of Yukon, you need these two documents. And once you have it, you can apply for the work permit. Now, to make it easier for you, the entire process of the work permit application is done online, right on Canada Immigration's portal, right here. Okay, so you can do the application from here once you have the qualifying document. Another exciting thing about this job offers, okay, is that the employers who are giving you this job offer do not need to apply for LMIA, okay? Unlike other job offers that qualifies employers in Canada to hire foreign workers, this is a different process, okay? So the government of Yukon is making it easy for employers. Those employers do not need LMIA approvals before they can hire you. Once you have the right profile and there's a need in their businesses, they can hire you directly without LMIA. Okay, and once you get that job offer, you get your provincial nomination, you get a letter of support from the government of Yukon, then you are as good as in Canada as a foreign worker with a guaranteed support from the government. Okay, so this is how the Yukon Community Program works and the entire process has been simplified. It's entirely online once you have the required document. So what do you do right now? as someone who is looking to apply for this program. The first thing is you need an express entry profile. We can't stress this enough. And even in our various videos, we're always telling you, if you are looking at moving to Canada, the most basic thing that you should do right now is to have an active express entry profile. Okay, so get the requirement, which is two main requirements. Make sure you do your credential assessment. Make sure you write, you know, a language proficiency test. With those two, you can open a profile right away. And Immigrate with Army can support you to do that. There was a lady that actually booked a consultation with us last week. Now, she had tried to open the express entry profile herself, but, you know, it keeps telling her that she's not eligible. And through our consultation session, we we're able to actually see what the problem was and right now she has an active profile so you need a profile if you are looking forward to applying for this because the job offer is going to trigger a provincial nomination on your profile so you need to already have a profile even before you start this process of applying for a job in yukon the next thing is after you have an active express entry profile you need to apply for jobs in Yukon. And this takes me to the platform that I wanted to show you. So there is a particular platform right here, which is the official platform where you can apply for jobs in the province of Yukon. So it's uwin.ca. As you can see on the platform, you can target the communities that are participating in this uh, Yukon community program. So there is quite a number of of those communities and you can actually filter by those communities and then apply for jobs in those communities so you can see down here a list of cities or communities across Yukon you can filter for example if I'm interested in Dawson City I will click on it as one of my filters and then it gives me the list of jobs in Dawson City as you can see here all of the jobs that you can see here is at Dawson City. So this is the platform where you can apply for jobs and employers who are looking to hire foreign workers are always updating jobs here. Don't think that you would see like, you know, thousands upon thousands of jobs like other provinces like Ontario. Most of the job offers you might see here or most of the job placement that you see here might not be too much. Okay, that tells you that, you know, employers really need people because it's one of the provinces that is struggling to actually find enough workers, especially for small and medium sized businesses okay so guys this is a great opportunity for you of course by all means do your own personal research the links will be in the video description and you can click on those links to read more and to research more but basically we have given you 
the information that you need to start off and we expect you to use this information wisely and use it to your advantage as well okay and don't forget if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation the link is on the video description reach out to ami to book a consultation and start your journey towards becoming a permanent resident or a temporary foreign worker in canada okay even if you want to apply for visiting visas which can give you an advantage you can also reach out to us and we can support you in ensuring that your application is actually successful because if you move to canada as a visitor it makes it easy for you to actually participate in some of these programs okay so thank you so much guys for watching it's always a pleasure speaking with you and have a lovely day bye